previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Ahem. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? Would you guys quit goofing around? This is kind of a serious situation. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. No, I don't think they would have followed us. They had a lot going on in town. We'll get home, and they'll be super jealous they missed out on all this. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold? Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation, and then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> Toss it here! Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. Unfortunately, with all these zombies everywhere, we can't exactly stick around out here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. You pick up that excuse at the same place you got that haircut? Because they're both awful. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first.
You hear that too, right? It almost sounds like a waterfall! one jesse let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much shall we that front door is definitely a no-go ah, stick with me guys Creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. Now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Hot dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, if... What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude. Now, easy, Torque Dog. Mm, Jesse. Are you going to take this one, or shall I? We're not the host of 
whatever this is. Sorry, we're just here to hide from the sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there, in case you hadn't noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm, I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Show some respect! The man's a captain. Sorry, Captain. Civilians, am I right? Uh, I'll go first, I guess. I'm Petra, that's Jesse, and over there are Ivor and Lucas. Charmed. Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <laughs> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Actually, we're the Order of the Stone. Legendary heroes. Kind of a big deal. Legendary heroes? <laughs> I ain't never heard of you. Tork Tork, cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped, so we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Maybe we can all work together to get through those zombies, power in numbers and all that. That's what we're trying to figure out. Just can't get everyone to work together. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone. <clears throat> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? <laughs> now? Did you hear that? <laughs> something touched my foot. Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. Well, what's up with the lights? Is everyone okay? Everyone died for cover! Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Uh, Torque Dog? Torque Dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. Jesse isn't just a girl's name. All those arrows, his inventory is everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. I know, that was absolutely awful. We were talking like a second ago, and then suddenly he's full of arrows. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... why is this happening? Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. You say you know about these tipped arrows? Anything else you know that you're not telling us? Well, you're, you're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Because I had nothing to do with this. Nothing! Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. <sighs> who would do this? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah! There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh... 
I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you! Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Oh, really? Because I've never seen you in my life. I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not... Perfect. Absolutely perfect! Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. What are you talking about? Yours looks just like you. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. They're the Order of the Stone. Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Apparently, they're famous heroes where they come from. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just. I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared, went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. There's something you're not telling me, Lizzie? Uh, no, sorry, that came out wrong. You know what? Forget I said anything. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Talk. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, I don't know what kind of danger you guys are wrapped up in, but we just met you, so... I'm thinking this isn't my problem? Well, uh, we're all stuck in this house now, so it kind of is your problem, too? Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. 
one of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. And what makes you so sure about that? I... I don't know. Just a feeling, I guess? And a past history with tumultuous social circles. Let's get investigating, then. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? It was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I, um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey, guys. Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. So, Lizzie, I heard something interesting about you and Torque Dog. Yeah? What did you hear? I'm sure there are all sorts of rumors floating around out there. I heard he stole from you. Whoa, would you keep it down? Okay, yes, he did. He stole one of my creeper head trophies, my very first one. I just didn't want to mention it before because I didn't want to look guilty. Wait, creeper head? This isn't about Dunch. the- No, not in front of 
And no, I told you, I never had it. Dan, you seem surprised by Lizzie mentioning a stolen creeper head. What did you think Torque Dog had stolen from her? No offense, but I'm not sure I feel comfortable discussing it with you. Sorry. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Torque Dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have? What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. People thought it was something he stole from Lizzie, but all he stole from Lizzie was a creeper head. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just use it a little oh, while geez, ago to put get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Panic, 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 And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed! I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. 
Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. All those chandeliers used to be glowstone before they got their white pumpkin makeover. They definitely add atmosphere, but not exactly the good kind. Man, poor Sparkles. Crushed under sand. Ugh, really nasty way to go. How are you holding up? You mean after seeing a guy get crushed under a ton of sand? Yeah, I'm definitely a little shaken up. We need to figure out who's doing this. And how. Well, keep your eyes open. Between the two of us, I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. Sounds good to me. This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. I think it was to scare us. A warning. Well, mission accomplished. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just is like the before. treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin is toying with us. He set up this whole house as a trap, and now he's just watching us get snared in it. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us 
is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the traps show that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Dan. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Funny, when we were talking about the rare item before, you were pretty tight-lipped. Why so eager to share now? Why? People are dying over that thing now. I just want you to know the truth, especially with Lizzie so jealous over me beating her to it in the end. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I've asked Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? Send Stampy in here. Right. Hello! Uh, I saw Dan on his way out, and... I don't know what he told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not, um, as much as the others at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals! No, sir, not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you! It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! Oh, please stop with the staring. You are killing me here. I like Sparkles. He was the best of us. He was great. And I'm sure Talk Talk had friends too. 
Please, just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's strange. I heard from Dan that you were the tri-block champion. Me? Hey, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I wish. <laughs> no, he must be mistaken. But, um, I have seen Lizzie do some pretty amazing things with redstone. Just putting that out there, if you're curious. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? Honestly, I think it was Lizzie. She wanted to get it back from Dan. Don't think she ever really got over him sniping her for it. Sad, really. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. And just make sure to ask Lizzie about that magic arrow. She's very good with those things. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? No, nothing. Nothing. Tell me something, though. Do you think Dan is the White Pumpkin? Oh, most definitely. He and I have been competing for the Flint and Steel for ages. This whole scheme to finally get it seems totally Dan. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. So I've heard. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. I think I have my suspect. Really? You actually think you know the White Pumpkin's real identity? Yeah, I'm gonna tell everyone at once. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, 
I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions leading, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah. I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? We just need more evidence. Anything that can draw a link to one of these people. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How would I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh! It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. Guess that makes sense. Sort of? What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ooh, mystery lever. I wonder what it does. You're not gonna pull it, are you? No. Don't feel bad. I was tempted to. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. I see Dan locked up in there.
Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. The white pumpkin, he's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. Yeah. What, what on earth? He's gone. For now, time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could... I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Or I could go and apologize to every single person. I could... Um, I could just stay locked up in this library. Then would people trust me? Would you look at the mouth on this kid? I... 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 I think he finally ran out of stuff to say. It was either going to be that or his oxygen, I guess. Wait. You came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... Enjoying the party? <laughs> That's my cue. Come on! Jesse, are you okay? We have to break through! <laughs> Try to keep up.
soul sand. This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Ah! <sighs> uh. Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuck this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Man, at least you're reasonable. Yeah, unlike some of these people. Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's funny, because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. The White Pumpkin must have a... I don't know, a, a lair or a base of operations or something in this house. We need to find it. Sounds like a plan to me. How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Didn't think he had it in him. Yep, Ivor's awesome. I'm glad he's on our side. Me too. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Mm, yeah, that seems right. There we go. Awesome. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did you it? You haven't proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Pretty conspicuously silent there. Ugh, you know what? They're not worth it. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to... Whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! It's just so... Frustrating. Petra, don't worry. We're gonna stop the White Pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. It's gonna be fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Done. Don't... Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. 
I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. Why, you scared? No, of course not. Just making sure I'm ready in case we have to fight. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Zombie noises. What's that? This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. Embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like cats. station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have hurt us. What? Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Yeah, it does. Scared you? You scared us half to death. Stop sneaking around like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you noticed, but this place is very creepy. Come on, you guys. I can't be the White Pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. So you're saying this is all your fault? No! Oh no, this is exactly why I've kept it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the White Pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? 
First, we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I... I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Should be able to score some string from those. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Trust me, you never know when a fishing pole will come in handy. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. see here legend of the world portals basic portal theory portals and you wow they're all about portals that's pretty obsessive walking among the endermen by soren wow his books sure get around first sky city and now here Jesse. Thanks. Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Ah, oh, many cats, so many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. I I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're 
You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the White Pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a White Pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? We found the White Pumpkin's lair right beneath us. What? Really? Yeah, very interesting. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Well, Jesse? Well then, I'm taking matters into my own hands! I'll help! Uh, hey, let's go! You're not going anywhere, murderer! Uh, uh, uh. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Ivor's portrait had a red X on it. Actually, um, no, it didn't, Jesse. Oh, shoot. I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-X'd out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is... Until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Wow, that sounds really hard. Of course, I can't really empathize because, see, I have a portal key. You really wanted one of these, huh? What, you little... We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. I'll fight all of you, each and every one of you. I'll not. Whoa. Another trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Wow. 
The trapper taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I'm just glad we stopped Cassie. That is true. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which... I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so, the drama continues. Fascinating. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. I know. Oh, wow, I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true... I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Slow? That's strange. I thought. No! What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world! Nothing to say for yourself, huh? I can respect that. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. 
Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. I'm sure you're way dumber than I am. You'll probably acclimate and learn to love it. Hey, I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? How about we share? 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 What, you want to walk through some portal happily holding hands and stab me in the back later? Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever, our button will never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. <laughs> oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get leverage. Give me my key, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Guys, get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. No. <laughs> No, we are going home. No, no, no. no, you can't do this. I've waited too long. It's mine, Cassie. I won't let you have it. No, no, Winslow, no, don't touch that. Winslow! Bad kitty! Stop it! Winslow! Good boy! Sweet kitty! Bring that to Master! Don't listen to the white pumpkin, Winslow! Bring the shiny thing to me! No! No! I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! Jesse, it stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Thank you! Uh, no, thank you! 
Got it! No! <coughs> well, Jesse, I bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... My only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. <laughs>